Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast circuit lesson. So, my friends, let's get cracking. First things first, friends, I need you to click on circuits, and we are going to create a new circuit. We are going to make a remote LCD, and I'm going to put my initials after it, of course, so that way I can keep track. And then over in the search box, I need you to type LCD and we want the LCD starter. When you click this, you do need to wait a moment for it to arrive. When it does arrive, it comes all wired up. And if you hit start, it'll actually do the first message. If you don't see it the first time, adjust that dial to less bright to more bright. And soon you will have your hello world on the screen and it will start counting. Hit stop simulation and let me show you what we're gonna do next. Let's begin by clicking on the word code. If you look down here, you can see this was actually created in 2008 by David Mellis and it's been modified a little bit. There's been more things added and you've got all the people that have done cool things in the last 10 years. Right now, I want you to just go to where it says hello world and I want you to type something like hi all and then hit start and watch how that little bit of code changes the whole project. And that's what we're going to do is use the ability to change this code to make it do other cool things. Each time you do need to hit stop. Right now we're going to hide the code. We need to do a new search. So I need you to click the X in the search box. And then we need to search for a new piece. Notice I clicked on the X and now we're going to type remote and we're going to bring in the IR sensor and put it right over here on like the 25, 26, 27. And we're going to bring in the IR remote and I'm going to put it right over here. I want these numbers close to the sign for what I'm doing later. So I'm just going to move this over. And then this is kind of cool. You can click on each of these wires and you can bring them back so they're straight. Because it's nice to keep your work organized. It gives you the little crosshairs when you finally got it lined up. See how that lines up like that? I'll bring over this last one. I'm going to take my red wire and I'm going to just move it down below. And I'm going to take the black wire and I'm going to double click and give it an extra point and double click and give it an extra point. So see how that comes out. And then I can bring this down and have that neat little bit of organization for my project. I'm going to go back to my IR sensor and I'm going to raise it up one chunk and then I'm going to scroll in so we can see it better. This one right here says ground. So we're simply going to connect it to the ground and make that wire black. This wire is the power one. So we're going to connect it to the power. And for organizational purposes, we're going to make it red. And then the last one that matters is the wire that is out. We need to connect this and notice I'm clicking in the middle. So it bends. I'm going up above. This has to be connected to a PWM. Notice PWMs have the little squiggle symbol. So six is a good one with a PWM signal. I could have also went to 10, but we're happy with that. And then remember you can adjust afterwards to get them so they line up perfect. I'm even going to go to this one and I'm going to straighten it out as well, just because it looks really nifty. I'm also going to change that color to pink because pink is not used on the top side. It is used down here, but that's fine. All right, friends, this is where it gets tricky, but it also gets awesome. Click on your code and we need to change a bunch of this code. The first place I want you to find is the include and I want you to press enter. In the description of the video is a bit.ly to the LCD remote code fixes. See how this says add to the include? I need you to simply copy it, move below liquid crystal, and I need you to do control V to paste. Make sure you get it exactly or it breaks it. The next adjustments are in the initialize. So I'm going to press enter. I'm going to return to that document. I'm going to select all these pieces that get added to the initialize. Make sure you get the semicolon, copy, click below the initialize, right click and paste. In the void setup, we are going between the squiggles. So these are called braces and we're going to delete it. So notice it goes brace open brace closed. And then we need to return to that document. And in setup, 
the only pieces we need are these two pieces. Right click copy, right click paste. Open brace, two pieces of code, closed brace. You can bring it back with a delete if you want to. It doesn't really matter. And then in the loop, the old loop had these steps. All the way out to the semicolon, we're going to delete that. So notice it's only got a open and a closed brace. All right, so making sure we've got our open and our closed brace, let's return to that doc. And we are going to select from the word if all the way down to the last closed brace. Notice we've got one, two, open. We've got one, two, closed. Right click, copy. Go back to our loop. Make sure we're inside the loop, open and then closed and right click paste. If we hide our code and we hit start, we should not get any errors. If you did get an error, go back through those steps. I always do this up and down so I can see my brightness as a test. And then when you hit one and two and three, you've got your cool phrases. All right, so that was pretty sweet, but now I wanna show you how to add more. So we're going to hit code and let me explain what's happening. Case is the button. So this button is labeled 16582903. The commands we sent were print, tinkercad, and it only does what's in the quotes and you only have 16 letters. That is important as we start making bigger phrases. These are just labels, slash slash is not real code, it just lets you know what was done there. So right now I want to make button 4. But before I can make button four, I need to figure out what this case is. So we're going to turn on something called a serial monitor. You can click it right down here. And then when we start the simulation this time, when we click on button four, it gives us a value, 1659106.3. So we can stop, copy all of this code. So we just go from case to break. We're going to press enter after that and we're going to do control V. I'm going to backspace so it lines up. It's nice to keep your code organized. And then remember we're typing 165910. So I'm going to backspace. So 91063. And then I'm going to type a new phrase here. Now because mine is all about my Tinkercad circuits, I'm going to just put awesome. I am going to change my label so it shows button 4. And now when we hit start simulation, I'm going to hide the code so it's out of my way. Once again, do my little adjustment of the brightness and boom, boom, boom. Are you ready? Awesome. That is how easy it is to code the other buttons. Once again, let's do it one more time together and then you can code the rest of the nine. When we hit code, we've still got the serial monitor. If I'd have been smart, I'd hit number five. Let's do that again quick so I've got five and six on the screen. When I hit five, 166, 23703. When I hit six, 166, Now when I stop the simulation, it is that easy. Control C to copy, press enter, control V to paste, and then change the numbers to fit. 166, 23703, and then control V to paste. I'm gonna backspace these so they line up. And that was 166. 07383. Double check your numbers to make sure that you get the right ones. Change your words to say something cool. I added my get cracking and my HL mod tech. Put a button five, put a button six, and hit start, and then check your code to see how cool it works. You can do it in any order. Brightness looks good. Backwards. Bam. 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 <laughs> Number four took a second. Bam, bam, bam. Stop simulation. 
just in case you didn't understand, you can put your own cool stuff. If you want the old hello world, boom, it's back. You can also, instead of just using the nine buttons, you can use all the buttons, volume, function, forward, backward. You could code all of these things to make many, many phrases show up, including cool things like knock, knock jokes, or maybe even some kind of virtual AI where it seemed like it was talking to somebody. All right, friends. So real quickly, the code works like this. Uh, the LCD print is where the phrase goes. The next one, the delay, is how long it stays on the screen. So you'll notice it stayed a little more than a half a second. A thousand milliseconds is a whole second. LCD begin clears the screen so that it's ready for the next one. The break makes it so the remote can actually capture the next command. All the commands can be listed in a row. And then at the bottom here, it resets the default. And then it does resume, so it's back checking to see which button you press. It's that short and sweet. And if you want, you can take this code and start using it to make other awesome stuff. As usual, friends, I hope you had a ton of fun. If you make something awesome, you can use this share button. You can share a snapshot of your design. You can also invite me to actually be in it and look at the design. If you got something that's broke, maybe I can help you solve it. Or you can just brag about how awesome yours turned out. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.